last month, the cross-chain token bridge Nomad was attacked and hackers managed to siphon $190 million from the protocol, draining a great majority of the funds. The Nomad cross-chain bridge attack was the third biggest crypto heist of 2022 and the ninth largest of all time. A lot of people have lost faith in crypto and in decentralized finance, and given all the recent hacks, it's hard to blame them. Let's try to understand what really happened with Nomad Bridge. First thing to notice is that attackers weren't coordinated. On August 1st, the first hacker stole 100 WBTC from the Nomad Bridge. Other people noticed they could copy-paste the hacker's code, inserting their own address for the hackers. Hundreds of copycat hackers followed, draining Nomad of over $190 million in crypto. The hack wasn't complicated, and an auditor told the Nomad team an attack was imminent. Nomad misconfigured its smart contract so that anyone could self-authorize withdrawals. Once one hacker succeeded, anyone paying attention could hack Nomad too. This incident raises a lot of questions. Why the team was so unprofessional? What are the liabilities of the people involved, etc.? But our purpose in this video is to explain what a bridge is and how it really works so you can understand how this kind of issue is possible. First, we should say that bridge is probably the worst possible name to describe what bridges are. In fact, bridges like Nomad do not actually transfer tokens from a blockchain to another, but operate by locking up tokens in a smart contract on one chain. They then reissue the same tokens on another chain, but this time in a wrapped form. Let's say you want to bridge one ETH from Ethereum network to Moonbeam network. Your one ETH will be locked in a smart contract, and the bridge will issue a new token on Moonbeam, in this case, an ETH bridge. The ETH locked will be used as a collateral to ensure Moonbeam network that wrapped ETH is in terms of value the same as the original ETH locked in the smart contract. A wrapped token is a cryptocurrency token pegged to the value of another crypto. It's called a wrapped token because the original asset is put in a wrapper, a kind of digital vault that allows the wrapped version to be created on another blockchain. But what would happen if the original ETH locked in the vault disappears? Well, in that case, without any counterpart, the wrapped ETH would lose its peg and be worth nothing. And that's exactly what happened with the Nomad hack. Since most of the original assets disappeared, all wrapped assets lost their original value. Nomad teams are working on recovering the funds, so there's still a chance that the wrapped asset will regain their peg at some point, but there's no guarantee. This accident shows us why the development of Polkadot and the development of XCM messages is a key to get rid of bridges within the Polkadot ecosystem and allows more safety. We'll make a video in the near future about how XCM works and why it will change the future of crypto.